What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to play Was It 26 by Chris Stapleton. It's in drop D tuning. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button for me and like the video and all that. Grab your guitar and I'll show you how to play it. Alright, y'all. I also lowered my first string down to a D. Um, just because it sounds good. So now my first string is going to match my sixth string and fourth string. Alright, so that's optional. Y'all don't have to do that if you don't want, but it sounds good if you did. Alright, um... Chords you need is a D, zero, 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 two, three, open, C I nine, zero, three, two, zero, three, three. But if you lower your string, it's just keep that first string open. There's a G, and you can play it like this. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, and either let that finger mute the fifth string, or you can add your pinky to the fifth fret of the fifth string if you want. First finger, third fret, second string. All right, and that'll be your G. You can play it like that. I'm going to play it like that in the chorus. Um, but for the verses, you can just put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the um, sixth string and play all the strings. All right, and there's going to be an A. And if you lower your first string, just bar um, the second fret from the fourth string down and play um, from the fifth string down. All right, but if you're have regular tune if your first string still in E just play your A chord regularly zero zero two 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 zero all right um, and that's all the chords let me show you this intro real quick um, it's gonna take me a second to catch up to it but I'm gonna try Too bad. All right, so what you're going to do, hold a D chord with your first finger on the third string, second fret, and ring finger, um, third fret, second string, and you can strum all six strings if you want. Hit it and slide to, to where your ring finger will be now on the sixth fret, second string, and first finger, um, fifth fret, third string. So you're going to go slide and then go down, 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 up, down, up. All right, and then slide back to two, down, down, up, and then slide to the first fret where your uh, ring finger's on the first fret of the second string. Hit that and slide to the third fret, and add your first finger back to the third string, second fret, and form a D chord again. All right, so all together. All right, and then you do it one more time. Alright, it's pretty straightforward, but um, you, he does that a few times after the choruses. Alright, but um, it's real easy. Then after that, um, the verse starts on a D. Let me give you some context real quick. All right, so it's going to start on a D, and you're just going to go D, down, 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 up. All right, next one's going to be part of a C add nine chord. Just keep your ring finger on that third fret, second string, and add your middle finger to the fifth string, third fret. Strum it, down, down, up, and then this is optional, but go. All right, so five, four, five, three, down, up. All right. Or down, up, down, up, down, down, up, you know what I'm saying? So, so far, D, C, G. Alright, so all that is, so you're, so far, D, C, all right, then right here, you're gonna add your middle finger to the third fret of the sixth string and slide the five. Down, 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 up, down. You're gonna do that three times after you slide. So you'll go down, down, up, down, down, up, down. All right, then you're gonna go third fret, sixth string. Kind of bend it a little. 
and then you're gonna do this a little lick right here. All right, so just hold a D chord, strum, and then go open fourth string, then um, fifth string, third fret, pull off, then sixth string, third fret, pull off. All right, then open fourth string again. All right, so all together. All right, it's pretty straightforward, but he does that a couple times too, after the G. All right, so so far, what you got? D, C, G, All right, and then after you do that, you're gonna start over. D, C, G. All right, and this time, instead of doing, instead of doing that, you're gonna do your intro thing again, like. All right. And then right here, you're gonna start over. You already know this part. D, C, G. All right, and then right here is the um, chorus, I believe. Chorus is gonna start on the G. Let me give it some context for you real quick. Right here. <clears throat> G. D. A. C. G. D. All right, so the chorus starts on a G, and you're going to go G. Just hit the bass note like down. Um, sorry, twice, like down, down, up. All right, so that's going to be your strumming pattern. You can either do that or just go down, 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 up, down, 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 down up. All right, but it goes G, D, A, C, G, D. And then you do that little lick again. All right, then you're gonna go back to G. D. And then you're gonna slide back to G from third fret like. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you with it. All right, then it's the part where it says, was it 26? You're gonna go D, C at nine, G. Don't worry, I'm going to show you with it, but this time at the end of the chorus, you're going to play your full C add 9 chord. Alright, so let me show you that part. Hold up. D. I mean G, sorry. D. C add 9. G. Alright, so that's your chorus. Let me do it one more time all together um, in case I confused you. G. D, A, C, G, D, alright, then G, D, G, alright, then you're going to go D, C, G, 25, or was it 26, you know what I'm saying, and then you do the intro again. And then you're going to go back to the next verse, and it's just like the first. You already know how to play the song now. You know what I'm saying? But it's a real fun song to play. But that is and was Chris Stapleton, was it 26? If I missed anything, let me know. Until next time, go on.